Okay, in this video, we are going to differentiate x to the 1 over x power. Well, the base right here is a function named the x. The power right here is also a function named the 1 over x. Do not use the power rule, do not use the exponential rule right here. What we're going to do is, we can just take the natural log on both sides, so we can use the natural log property to help us to get rid of this situation. Well, what do I mean? Well, when we have x to 1 over x power, instead of the natural log, we can bring the power to the front. And this right here is just the innocent natural log property, so do not minus 1 whatever. We're just doing algebra. So, you see, we have natural log of y, and that's equal to 1 over x, and you can multiply this by ln of x. So, this is just the equation that we'll be looking at and differentiate rather than that one, right? And you might want to put the ln x on the top. In that case, you will have to do the quotient rule. But if you keep it as how it is, you can just do the product rule. All right, so to get to work, let's put on d dx. Oh, dx is right here. The derivative of ln y, we get 1 over y first. And we multiply by the derivative of y with respect to x, which is dy dx. And then right here, I will just use the product rule. I will keep the first function, 1 over x, times the derivative of the second. The derivative of, of L and x is 1 over x, and that's it. And we add the second function, which is ln of x, times the derivative of the first function, and the derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x squared. And you can also write this as x to a negative 1 power, and then do the little power rule. But you will deal with this a lot, so the derivative of 1 over x is this, you can remember that result. Okay, so this is pretty much it, and now we just have to clean things up. Let's multiply both sides by y, so that I can get rid of that, and we can find out the dy dx. And we see that the dy dx is going to be the following. Well, y, if you look back, is this, which is x to the 1 over x power. A pretty crazy function, but it's actually pretty famous as well. Anyway, right here, let's see, x times x is x squared. And notice that we also have x squared right here. So in fact, we can combine these two fractions. We can just write them down as x squared in the denominator. From this term, we have 1 times 1, which is 1. And then for this term, we have minus and then this is natural log of y, so we put down natural log of y, um, natural log of s, like that. Anyway, we are done. So this right here is the derivative of x to the 1 over x power, and we are done.